Hi there, I'm Boone Langston. We are at BrickCon 2018. One of my favorite builds of the con. Can you tell us your name and a little about your build here? My name is Alan Corbet. I'm from Vancouver, Canada, and this is the Red Rocket uh, coolant station from Fallout 4. And what was the inspiration? You said Fallout 4. Is this directly out of the game, or...? It's as close as I can get it to the game. I. I actually hadn't played the game before I built this. Keith Reed, I'm sure you're familiar with him. He was building out, building some Fallout stuff uh, a year ago and said, you need to build the, the Red Rocket Station. And I had no idea what he's talking about, so I looked online at it, asked my kids about it because I knew they were familiar with the game. And they actually made me play the game so that I could see <laughs> what I was talking about. So I walked around with the character through the building. I tried to get as many of the details. I even put the pylons where they are in the game. Uh, I just tried, tried to get everything as accurate as I could. And then my daughter said, where's dog meat, the German Shepherd? And I, so I had to put dog meat in there for, for my daughter. That's great. I, I absolutely love kind of retro space stuff. So it, it was the rocket that caught my attention. Uh, can you tell us about that sort of part of the build there? Well, as soon as I looked at the images online, I knew exactly how I was going to build it. And so I started putting it together. You know, I had to adjust the colors to make it look a little more rusty here, a little less rusty there. And, you know, it, it just came together. It, it took a few tries to get it quite you know, just right so that it would sit the way I wanted it to. And That's really fantastic. And I love the way you've used the bricks for the lettering so you see the anti studs and it kind of gives that feel of, you know, busted out old lights. What are missing light socket like the light sockets where the light bulbs are broken out, the glass broken away. That's exactly what I was going for. So. Absolutely. Are are there any other details that are kind of in that same vein here in this build? Well, I like I really enjoyed making the broken windows. Um, you know, the loose uh, numbers in the sign, just the way I pinched them in there so that they didn't really move around too much. You know, I, I don't know. Using the basketball player's arms for the, the branches on the trees, stuff like that. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. And I love the ground with the gaps in the concrete and whatnot. I, I imagine this might have been like a, along Route 66 or something, like back in the 50s. Is that, is that accurate to what would have gone on here? The premise of the game is it's after a, a nuclear fallout, and everything is in the fallout world is run on nuclear energy. So... Everything's contaminated. Nothing's alive anymore. That's why there's no green vegetation. Uh, and and the, the guy in the, over there on the concrete over there, he's actually a character that came out of a fallout shelter. So, okay. yeah, he's a survivor, and he's relatively radiation-free because he's been protected in a stasis sleep for, I guess it was 100 and some odd years or something like that. Yeah. 200 years or something. Well, that's really awesome. Thank you so much, Alan. I appreciate this build, and thank you for taking the time to talk to us about it. Thank you.